Uh, this video is going to talk about uh, primary teachers and report cards. Um, there are two basic groups of teachers when it comes to report cards uh, in the primary grades, kindergarten, first, and second grade. Um, there's those teachers who put in assignments, daily assignments, homework assignments, class assignments, tests, quizzes, stuff like that. And then there's the teachers who just put in final grades for the report card. They don't do uh, they do their, their grades, their individual grades, assignments and stuff. They do those grades somewhere else, whether it's a paper grade book or they, they track it somewhere else and then they come into power school and they just put in the report card grade at the end of the end of the quarter. Um, so we're going to talk about the second group first, the people who just put in their report card grades for the end of the quarter. Um, the first thing that you need to do to put in your report card grades you need to make sure first you're in the right quarter. Um, that is one of the biggest mistakes that teachers make. They don't look here um, to make sure they're in the right quarter before they start putting in their grades and their report cards are blank because they put all the grades under the wrong marking period. So it's the first thing. Check, make sure you're in the right marking period. Then you need to make sure you're in the right class. So for this one, I'm in social behavior and work habits. Um, this one is a little bit different than an academic one in that you only put grades in if there's a problem. So it's an N is if uh, there's an issue needs improvement and it's a blank it means it's okay um, in all of these screens when you're looking at the column header if you want to know what the individual standard is like I'm looking here it's it's 2.sbwh.1 I don't have any idea what that is but if I put your mouse over it and just hover it tells you it works cooperatively and respectfully works independently etc etc etc. And then when I come over here to the right, I can then there's more. I think there's like 12, yeah, there's 12 of them all together. So for this particular one, all you really have to do is put in ends for the kids who are having an issue in a certain area. So for, let's say, for works cooperative and respectfully, let's see, who would not work well? Um, let's say him. I can come over here. I can either come down here and just type in the letter N and then let's see, let's give someone else an N and an N. That's not an N, that's a C. N. Save. I'm now done with grades for this column. Everybody else is blank. So this is how you would put in grades for just for the report cards. Um, and you would go through each column. And, and if you've done this in the old grade book, it's the same basic idea. This kid will give them an N. This kid's also getting an N. That one and that one. Save. Um, for academic subjects, such as, well, let's go to writing. Under writing, I have expresses ideas in writing, writes on topic, uses appropriate conventions, spelling, and revises and edits. So this is a one, two, three, four. So here everybody would get a grade. So I can go one, one, two, two, three, 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 four, four, one. I'm going to go ahead and fill this column all the way in. That's everybody. Okay, so this column is now done. I filled in this column for expresses ideas in writing for my quarter two report cards. I'm going to save this. Let's say, for example, let's say for this one, the, mo the vast majority of the class is getting it at two. Um, half of the class is getting a two, and then I've got a couple ones and a couple of threes. If you want, you can fill the whole column at once. So let's say I'm going to give everybody a two. And I'm going to do this fill here. And you notice this fill goes up and down. That's the fill that goes up and up and down this column here. So I'm going to do fill. It says fill complete. So now everybody has a two. Now I can just go and give the kids who are getting ones their ones. And if I got a couple kids getting threes, and maybe this kid's going to get a four. And this kid's going to get a four. And I can hit save. So that's two ways of doing your report card grades. Um, and this, again, assumes that you have the grades somewhere else, that you did not use 
the Power Teacher Gradebook to to track your assignments and track your homeworks and all that stuff. Um, you just have the final grade for the report card. So this is how you would do it. It's a, somewhat similar to what you've been doing in the old gradebook, just in a little bit different place, and it looks a little bit differently. The second group, um, actually the first group that we mentioned, but the second group we're talking about, um, of teachers are the ones who keep their assignments in their gradebook, um, whether it's their homeworks and tests and tests or what, whatever it is that you give from your your day to day classes, because you've kept those assignments in your gradebook, and uh, that's where you're tracking your grades. So we talked in a previous video, and I'll link it in the description. Um, we talked in the previous video about entering assignments, and we will take a look at one here so that you refresh your memory. Uh, we talked about going to the standards tab and linking a standard to the assignment and then coming over to the show tab and making sure that you had this auto calculate checked um, in order and what that does and I'm going to come to grading in standards what that does is it'll m calculate the standard in this column so when we were in social behavior and work habits a minute ago and I was putting in my ends um, and it was in reading, I think I was in, that I put in my ones and twos and threes and fours. Um, this was done for me by the gradebook um, based on the grades that I gave on assignments that I tagged with that standard. Um, and when we talked about that in the previous video. So that's why there are grades in this column is because I did two assignments that I marked with this standard. The reason this column is blank is because none of the assignments were tagged with this with this uh, standard. Come back to grading and assignment list and if you look here these these are the two practice book ones are the ones that I made in the previous video. I have it checked with I clicked on standards I have it checked with the the standard two understands and applies and then I came over to selected standards and made sure that the auto calculate was turned on and that auto calculate is what is populating this column. So as long as you have been diligent all quarter about making sure that you coded every assignment to a standard or standards. You can do it to more than one standard. As long as you are good all quarter about making sure that you coded the assignment to the standards that it applied to and made sure that auto calculate box was checked for every assignment when you entered it, this column, these columns will be filled in already. So you don't have any extra uh, grade entering to do. Um, the, the, the computer is calculating the grades for you. Now, it's, it wouldn't hurt to look through these and make sure that these grades on the report card make sense based on what you observed of the kid in the class. Because it's possible, we're all human, it's possible you missed on a couple of assignments. You didn't mark them with the standard or you didn't check the auto calculate box. And this grade might be off if those two things aren't done. So it wouldn't hurt to look through. So for example, let's say this kid here, he's getting a one according to the math, the, the, the calculations, but I'm thinking to myself, that can't possibly be right. I must have missed a couple of assignments here and there. I'm going to knock him down to a two. And I can either hit the two on my keyboard or I can hit two over here. It doesn't matter which one you do as long as you've, as long as you have uh, put in the grade here and the, and the number there is the number you want to give. And then you hit state hit save and then that's done. So if you keep assignments over here and you're done you've done your grades and you've been diligent about this box, let's see where's that sorry standards, this box being marked with a standard and then this box being auto calculate, as long as you've been diligent about that during the course of the quarter, you shouldn't have any extra work to do at report card time as far as the grades go. However, everybody can put in comments. And comments are handled a little bit differently. So the first thing you want to do when you're putting in a comment is you want to make sure you're in the top, and this I'll be very careful about how I say this, in the top academic class on your list. So the first class on your list is homeroom. Homeroom is not graded. Homeroom is for attendance. So you don't want to put comments in homeroom. Homeroom is not on the report card. Comments that you put under homeroom won't print on the report card, number one. Number two, you want to make sure that you're in the right quarter. We're in quarter two. If we're in quarter two, you don't want to put your grades under Y1 or S1 because we're not in Y1 or S1. We're in quarter two.
Those are the two things to be very careful of. So I'm going to go to the top academic subject. Most of you guys is probably going to be reading. So I'm going to click on reading. I'm going to make sure I'm on quarter two, and I am. I'm going to come to grading, and I'm going to go, and you can either go to score sheet or standards. It's the same, same box. The one you want to click on is course grade, anywhere over here. So I'm going to click here. And then over here at the, on the right hand side, when you click here, it pops up down here and it tells you who you're working on, which kid. And down here is a box. I'm going to scroll down so you can see it. There's a box here and I can type and hit save. And that's going to do two things. First of all, the comment is going to show there and you're going to see a little green, a little blue voice bubble icon. That means there is a comment. This comment, Susan is a very good student, will appear on the report card because I'm in the right quarter, because I'm in the right class. So there's a couple different ways I can work my way down the list here to go to the rest of the kids if I want to put comments for other kids. If I scroll up here, you see where it has Susan's name. If I hit this down arrow, changes to Mark. Well, maybe I have nothing to say about Mark, so I'm going to skip Mark. I'm going to go to Caesar. I can either come down here like I've been doing and type, or up here at the top there is a voice box, voice bubble. If I click on the voice bubble, it takes me to the comments section, and down here is the comment bank. And these are the comments that you probably are used to seeing that they are all the comments that are they're in the system already. You can pick one of these. So let's say I want to say that Caesar doesn't use time wisely. I'm going to hit the plus sign, doesn't use time wisely. I also want to say not working to full potential. Now I hit save. Now those two comments will appear on Caesar's report card and I can tell there's a voice box next to him. And I'm going to skip down to this kid and I'm going to come back up here and I don't, I don't see what I want to say down in here so I'm just going to type up here saying making much better progress as the quarter went along. Keep up the good work. Spelled correctly. Nothing worse than spelling your comments wrong. I'm going to scroll down over here and hit save. So now these three kids, Caesar, Susan, and Janice, all have great uh, comments ready to go on their report cards. So that's comments. So that's the basic idea of report cards. Um, you're either going to put the grades in yourself because you've been keeping your grades somewhere else, or you're going to have the grades already entered in um, based on the uh, standards that you've tagged the assignments with, and then whatever comments you want to put in. Making sure that when I'm going to hit the X here to close this, making sure that number one, you're in the top academic class on your list, so not homeroom, and also making sure that you're in the right quarter. So those are the big ones.